New tonight, the NYPD investigating a series of random attacks on women. Police sources say at least seven have been assaulted in Manhattan. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. This 23-year-old woman shared her story of being struck in the head Monday on 7th Avenue near 16th Street just after 10 a.m. The viral video prompted these women to share similar incidents on social media. Police sources say the NYPD is now investigating a pattern of at least seven random assaults on women in the last week. Co-chair of the City Council's Women's Caucus, Julie Menon. Yeah, this is real. And so we want to make sure that we called it out as such and warn women about this. Sources say male suspects have struck in Chinatown, the West Village, Chelsea and Midtown. The victims punched in the head, all of them assaulted while walking. It's completely unacceptable. These women were literally walking down the street and randomly are getting punched in the face. Turns out the day after this woman posted on TikTok, he broke all my jaw and both sides. Surveillance video caught the attack on this woman walking down Grand Avenue in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Her jaw is wired shut and she lost three teeth. Officers arrested the suspect and charged him with misdemeanor assault, a crime that's not bail eligible, so he's back on the street. So far in the Manhattan cases, police have only made one arrest. It hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground, and now this giant goose egg is forming. An police say the man responsible for hurting this victim is 40-year-old Skabuki Stora of East New York, a former fringe candidate for mayor. Police are urging anyone who may have also been a victim to come forward. Is there concern that uh, it's not clear that this is all the same person? It's definitely not clear that it's the same person. In my conversations with NYPD, it seems to be more than one person. One person is obviously one too many, but it becomes even more alarming if this is becoming a pattern in practice. The victims that have shared their stories say they are doing it because they want other women to be alert and stay off their phones when they're walking in the street. In Midtown, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.